Hello all, how are you today and how have you been? I hope you've been doing fine. I hope you've been doing great. Uh, I'm doing fine as well. Today I want to talk about a topic I tied to It's okay to worry. Say what? Yes, it is okay to worry. You know, when I was growing up those years, like I'm that old. Yes, those years at least. Um, <laughs> When I go out, oh, and I was so adventurous. And my parents knew this. They never tried to stop me, but they cautioned me. So when I go out like that, and I begin to panic, oh, oh, oh I'm late, I'm running late. Oh, my mommy's going to talk, my daddy's going to talk, you know? And um, I just want to get back home. I worry, I worry, I worry, and when I'm back home, nothing happens, I'm like, wow. And I was, so 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 in a hurry to come back home but then that also guided me supposing i was just carefree and i just sat back like whatever you know and that would make me come home much um, later and that can lead to trouble for me so when i say you need to worry yes you need to worry sometimes because worrying sometimes puts us keeps us on our feet when you don't worry, you're relaxed. When you're not, when you're not, when, when you're not worried, you just, you take a piece, you feel, well, whatever. But when you worry, for me personally, when I worry, that is when I pray the most. In fact, when I'm in my sleep, I am praying in my mind. Until I get that result. I keep praying. And God has been merciful and he's been faithful to me. Because it's not about my worrying, it's not about me knowing how to do it. It's just because of his mercy and I'm forever grateful for his mercy. But what I'm trying to tell you that just a little worrying. Sometimes worrying keeps us on our feet, keeps us moving, keeps us going. It doesn't let us settle. It doesn't let us just feel relaxed or settle for whatever it is. We don't have we don't accept a no. When we do, when we worry, because you want to, you, you worry. When you worry, your mind is where you, where you, what, whatever you're worrying about. Yes, let me put it that way. Your mind is there. And when you begin to worry, you begin to like, okay, yes, it is said that worrying cannot solve your problems. It cannot, it cannot take away that problem. It cannot take away the problem, but it can make you to begin to see results. So it's rather, it can make you begin to see how you're going to work out. Work it out, yes. Are you going to work it out? It can make you begin to see how you want it to be. Like, okay, ah, uh, you know, sometimes when we worry, we're going to like think. It gives us, you know, we get, begin to do that critical thinking. And okay, we're like, okay, yes, let's let me maybe I should just try this way. But when you're not worried, you are relaxed. And when you're relaxed, results are not achieved. Solutions are not. I, 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 you don't achieve your solutions solutions are not achieved also so sometimes just a little worrying keeps us on our feet keeps keeps us on our toes keeps us moving keeps us you know striving so don't get too relaxed sometimes worry sometimes worry oh okay sometimes just worry because for me it works for me it makes me pray the more it keeps me on my toes it keeps me checked you know it, it makes me not to settle so worry a little just do a little worrying don't be satisfied with where you are what you're doing at the moment worry worry that yes you need to have surpassed this you need to have gone beyond this you need to have gotten results. You need to have gotten the solution. Worry. Sometimes worry. It helps. It helps. Worry sometimes, but not too much. You need to strike the balance. You need to strike the balance between worrying a little and anxiety. Because anxiety can be very, very destructive to your health. You know? You need to strike the balance. You need to have reached the middle line between being um anxious and worrying a little just 
the middle. Meet at the middle. Don't settle. Don't be contented with the little that you have. Know that you're not thankful. When you're thankful for the little that you have, bigger things come to you. What I'm saying, contentment, I'm not saying not, not being content, con contented in, in the case whereby you begin to envy people, you begin to want to do more than your means. I'm saying not being contented with yourself, challenging yourself that you can do better, that you can achieve something better, that you can attain to something much more better. That is what I'm talking about. So, brothers and sisters, or really little, it keeps you on your toes. Thank you for watching my video today. I hope my video has edified you. Do not forget to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel on YouTube at Superwoman Ninja TV. Like I said before in my previous video, also check out my Instagram page, Inspirational Quotes, Life Quotes, to transform you. Yes, it will. You know, check out my Twitter page, also Superwoman Ninja, and also my Facebook page, Superwoman Ninja. You know, don't forget the comments, don't forget the thumbs up. And, and everything else. So, I want to wish you a wonderful week ahead, a fantastic week ahead, a wonderful and a supernatural month of September. You know all things are possible to them that believe something good something wonderful can still happen to you in this year in the year 2018 if only you believe if only you do not settle if only you're not satisfied you want more and there's always more and you once more to have a great day ahead bye for now